I just got back from a 1.2 mile uh, jog run thing with Jenna. And um, I mean, it wasn't an all, you know, let's do a mile run. There was um, running, jogging, then resting, you know, walking. And, um, you know, I think with a little more work, I can definitely get that half mile down by January 12th. And there's a treadmill here at the house, so I'm going to start hitting that up. But um, I'll be running again with Jenna on Thursday and Friday and working out on Friday with Arturo. So in the meantime, I'm going to um, practice some crunches and sit-ups and, um, of course, push-ups. I did that today already, but I'll do more later. And, um, fuck. You know, I remember when I was younger, I, I was, do you remember when they had Body in Motion with Jalad, Galad, right? And everybody was doing his exercise and I'd be doing them and, you know, aerobic and doing the sit-ups and push-ups. I was doing that shit like I was born on it, never thought a minute about it. But I was also in my late 20s. You know, that shit was, is over 20 years ago. So my life of leisure has caught up with me and now I'm going to have to really work out of it and hmm I mean just a side note let me adjust that motherfucker how's that this is for you Marilyn okay because it's come to my attention that you fucking unfriended me um over some shit that you said um I was confrontational with your friends on Facebook um last I checked you ain't got no friends on Facebook you know and there were several Canadian Fuckles who friended me through you. And if I offended them, they were on my Facebook page to offend. And you certainly had no problem calling that Stuart Fowler a fucktard in private to me. And uh, But I thought a little bit funny because he's your friend, yet you were talking smack about him. And, um, and people who are my friends, I don't talk smack about them because why are they friends then? So, you know, you proving yourself to be a cock-sucking daddy fuck, right? Who ain't got a mind her own, homie, you know? So that's definitely come to my attention. And, um, you know what? You're just a fucking useless piece of shit still trying to hang on to her youth. And yeah, you look good and probably fuck like a porn star, but it still makes you useless in my book. So, um, and this comes from my heart. This comes from my heart. And I was really hurt that you didn't even bother to, 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 to message me or anything to say, Jim, I, this is what's going on. I'm, I'm just a little disturbed or mad. You never did any of that to me. You just weren't on my Facebook one day. But I thought you had deactivated the account um, like you occasionally do. But I had said to a mutual friend, I said, geez, I think she unfriended me. I'm not sure. And then the mutual friend went to check and went, no, she's there. But then you were gone two minutes later, so you had unfriended her. And then, of course, you conveniently activated the account, and then I wasn't on it. And I only found out about it this morning when you made a comment on a mutual fence page. But I happened to see that long enough to hit uh, privacy options and uh, block your ass forever. So here's hoping you freeze to death in fucking New Brunswick, bitch.